Okay, YouTube, thanks for watching, and thank you, big thank you to my subscribers out there. I'm going to try to keep myself in check, but this is the kind of shit that really pisses me off, and it's stupid. This is, is about as black and white and clear in your face that you can get. I mean, forget everything else. It's right here, and I don't know why it's so hard to see. Audit reveals the Pentagon doesn't know where $6.5 trillion has gone. So once again, once again, we have lost a whole lot of money. Here's the actual report, the official government.mil report that was posted July 26, 2016. And in this report, they found, okay, now just bear with me and these three kind of boring paragraphs, but it's important details. So the Office of the Assistant Secretary of the Army and the Defense Finance and Accounting Service Indianapolis did not adequately support 2.8 trillion in third quarter journal voucher adjustments and 6.5 trillion in year-end JV adjustments made to AGF data during fiscal year 2015 financial statement compilation. The unsupported JV adjustments occurred because OASA and DFAS Indianapolis did not prioritize correcting the system deficiencies that caused errors resulting in JV adjustments and did not provide sufficient guidance for supporting system generated adjustments. Now, can I say that I know for 100% fact that all this missing money went to bad people on purpose that have bad intentions toward us? I can't. No, I can't say that I know that for a fact. I believe that, but I can't say it for 100% fact that that's what happened. But I tell you what doesn't help, stuff like this. In addition, DFAS Indianapolis did not document or support, they did not document or support why the Defense Departmental Reporting System, a budgetary reporting system, removed at least 16,513 of 1.3 million records during third quarter fiscal year 2015. That makes me think they're covering stuff up. As a result, the data used to prepare the fiscal year 2015 AGF third quarter and year end financial statements were unreliable and lacked an adequate audit trail. Furthermore, DOD and Army managers could not rely on the data in their own accounting systems when making management and resource decisions. So until the Army and DFAS Indianapolis correct these control deficiencies, there is considerable risk that AGF financial statements will be materially misstated and the Army will not achieve audit readiness by the congressionally mandated deadline of September 30th, 2017. Again, can I sit here and say that I know for 100% fact that all this missing money, that it didn't go to rehabilitating neighborhoods and building schools? No, I can't say that for 100% fact, but I don't believe that money went there. Can I say for 100% fact that I know this money went to bad people? No, I can't say that for 100% fact. I believe that to be the case though. But what I can tell you that is 100% fact is that these guys, these government corporations are either that stupid or they're doing this stuff on purpose because this is not the first time that this has happened. Six and a half trillion dollars, that's a whole lot of money that could feed a whole lot of people. Here's an, another 100% fact for you. The last time a big, big, huge chunk of money went missing and they came out and actually admitted that like this and said, you know what, a whole shit ton of money disappeared and we don't know where it went. Shortly after that, 9-11 or disaster happened. Just something to think about.